Hi, I'm Jessica Greenstreet. I'm sorry I'm a little sick right now. Um, I'm a second year from Stevenson. I'm a double majoring in politics and theater arts, and I also happen to be running for Commissioner of Academic Affairs. How do you plan to improve the communication between the SUA and the Academic Senate? Okay. Well, I don't really think that the question is how I should improve the communication between the SUA and the Academic Senate. It really should be about what, how do you improve the communication between students who have problems in the Academic Senate, because the SUA is only one body that's on this campus. Although it does have a lot of power within the Academic Senate, um, student voices really do need to get to those spaces because they are very closed spaces, it seems, to the general public. So really making sure that the representatives that are within the Academic Senate spaces are reporting back on the issues that are brought up and then we can connect, connect them to students that are having these or that are involved in these issues um, to be able to garner that communication um, to see what the problems are on the ground floor versus what the problems are in the, the administration side. So really connecting um, those students and the Academic Senate rather than focusing on just connecting the SUA with the Academic Senate. Everyone always says that they would talk to the students in an attempt to find out local issues and work to improve them, but truthfully, that's not realistic. What are some of your other ideas regarding ways to allow students to voice their concerns so you can help make those changes at CAA? Yeah, um, there are a couple of things that I want to try out um, for next year. Uh, one of those is really working towards getting video testimonials from students um, by uh, either of them doing it individually in their own houses by like posting an issue that we're talking about and seeing if people want to submit videos based on what that issue is. So we can really see from a student's perspective what's going on and they don't have to attend a town hall, they might have a class during, um, which is a common problem. Um, the other thing is still maintaining with the old things because uh, a lot of good things have come out of things like town halls and um, and um, tabling, although it doesn't seem really effective, but really trying to find those tabling smart. So not everything happens in Cory Plaza. We don't have a centered campus. So really, if we're talking about things that deal with the science department, stopping by Perk, you know, and really talking to students that are in the locales of the campus to see where, what problems they have in those positions. And also doing things like surveys. They really help. a lot. You get a lot of opinion at the same time on the same questions and can use that data to um, show to administrators to make change. What is your experience working within the system to improve academics thus far? Um, I've I've worked in the academic affairs sphere since I've come here on campus. I, I interned for the Commissioner of Academic Affairs under Matt Paul my freshman year and um, was able to do work in um, getting student input on the EVC Executive Vice Chancellor hire. Um, also working on the Measure 42 and looking at how libraries really do affect our system. Um, I also have been working on the Class and Lecture Availability Student Survey, which and which was born from the survey that I did work on my freshman year. And using that data to go talk to deans about what that means for their departments and also bringing it to the Chancellor and the Executive Vice Chancellor. I also sit on two Academic Senate committees, um, the Committee on Admissions and Financial Aid and the Committee on Planning and Budget. And that experience in those committees of actually sitting on academic senate committees and seeing and getting a grasp of all the information that's possible and who's there has really showed me how this campus works in the academic affairs sphere and what exactly the academic senate does by being inside of it. Okay. Um, I just wanted to say that I have been working in the academic sphere and really understand that there's so much change that can be made there once we are able to train students who are in academic senate committees and be able to gather this information. It takes a lot to learn the office and a lot to figure out first what steps need to be made to make change and I feel like in these past two years I've really learned what can be done and the possibility of the office and I really want to work in it so that I can make the change that I can that I see needs to be made and um, I really appreciate your vote so or you know just to vote so thank you and have a great day.